July 18th Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible 2 Corinthians chapter 13 from the New Testament This is the third time I am coming to visit you. By the testimony of two or three witnesses, every matter will be established. I said before when I was present the second time and now, though absent, I say again to those who sinned previously and to all the rest, that if I come again I will not spare anyone, since you are demanding proof that Christ is speaking through me. He is not weak towards you, but is powerful among you. For indeed he was crucified by reason of weakness, but he lives because of God's power. For we also are weak in him, but we will live together with him because of God's power toward you. Put yourselves to the test to see if you are in the faith. Examine yourselves. Or do you not recognize regarding yourselves that Jesus Christ is in you, unless indeed you fail the test? And I hope that you will realize that we have not failed the test. Now we pray to God that you may not do anything wrong, not so that we may appear to have passed the test, but so that you may do what is right, even if we may appear to have failed the test. For we cannot do anything against the truth, but only for the sake of the truth. For we rejoice whenever we are weak, but you are strong, and we pray for this, that you may become fully qualified. Because of this, I am writing these things while absent, so that when I arrive, I may not have to deal harshly with you by using my authority. The Lord gave it to me for building up, not for tearing down. Finally, brothers and sisters, rejoice, set things right, be encouraged, agree with one another, live in peace and the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the saints greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. God, today as we, we begin our day with you, with so much thankfulness and so many blessings that you have just heaped into our lives, I pray that we do have a, a day just as Paul closes his letter, that we rejoice first and foremost in the graciousness and the blessings and the honors that you have given us, that we even exist here on earth, that you chose us and not somebody else to actually physically exist here on earth and that you have called us to be your children. First and foremost, that we rejoice in those amazing blessings that you have given us, that we get up in the morning, we have a soft bed that we're getting up out of, that we have a roof over our heads that didn't stop us with rain and other weather elements from sleeping all night, that we go into the kitchen where there is food, we get clothes on that cover our bodies, and most of us will be going to some sort of job or a volunteer type of situation. So many blessings to rejoice in. And then Paul says to set things right. If there's anybody out there, God, that we need to make things right with today, let today be the day that that happens. Help us be encouraged in doing so because setting things right sometimes is overwhelming. We've made it so much bigger in our head than it should be. But with you and your encouragement and strength, we know that we can do all things. Allow that encouragement to continue throughout our day with you. That as we meet people, that, that we get to talk about you with them. That we are encouraged, that we have strength, that we don't hide behind insecurities of what will they think. Uh, but we just get so excited about your love and your amazing grace and your forgiveness for us. Allow us to agree with one another so that we don't have to set things right, so that we truly are fulfilling the New Testament commandments of loving each other, loving the people that you have given us around us, not just the easy people, but everyone. If we can love our neighbor and our worst enemies as ourselves, um, then we are living out the love that you have given us. And then God, Paul goes on to pray about living in peace. And it's not only a peace with people around you, but I know after being given a new heart from you, God, that it is this amazing peace that as you speak about in the Bible that passes all understanding, that is this incredible peace that comes into my life that I know I can't do anything, but with you I can do everything. And then we end our day with, with thankfulness again. 
the, the God of love and peace has been with us throughout that whole day. And, and God, I just pray that you go out with everyone today who's listening to this video and you're just with them and you wrap your arms around them and you give them strength and you empower them to share the amazing good news that you have for everyone. God, I just pray this amazing, powerful day for everyone who's listening to this video today. In your son's name I pray, amen.